Hello, I'm Andrew Lissam, and welcome back to Hasvine 4 as Democratic Denmark. Right, um, firstly, now that the, uh, the war is over, we are going to change total mobilization down to war economy. We need a little bit more political power to do this. No, we don't. We've got political power. What do we need? Oh, we can't do it because we're not at war. Ah, because total mobilization uh, has minus 3% recruitable population. That, that's not good, no. This is not chipper. So we're going to go down to partial mobilization then, I guess. And we get that 3% back, which is very nice. Uh, we also got to figure out how to get our troops out of Japan, because uh, this is silly. Grr. Hmm. Uh, probably the best way to do this is to make Japan like us. I assume you won't give me... Military access. Uh, not too bad, actually. Let us uh, improve relations. We have a choice is to try and go through Japan, but it's unlikely to happen. So uh, we're going to work from this. We've got our troops spread out here. We don't really need the cavalry brigades anymore. We could just disband them. Because this is now our territory, like, there's going to be no resistance. Public of Hungary joined the Allies, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can always build them again if we need to. Oh, yeah, that manpower. Right, um... What do we want now? I guess... Oh god, no, no, no. Uh, I may have ordered you to go somewhere by mistake. No, stay there. No, don't, don't, don't move. Don't leave. Good. Good, okay. Whew. I was worried that I might have ordered them to do something silly for a moment. Uh, right. Why do I have a parachute regiment here? Not mine. That's fine, okay. Right, it's not mine. Um we could do a few more tanks. So we'll train uh, eight more units of tanks. Seems reasonable. Oh my god, we've actually got the equipment. This is weird. I'm not used to this feeling. It's a very strange feeling. Logistics bombing. Um, night bombing or day bombing. That's just strategic bomb plus 30%. This is like offsets the nighttime penalty. Uh, I'll take the strategic bombing in general. Not that I think I'll need it. We're getting there slowly. Uh, we could declare war on China actually. But we are, we are democratic. We wouldn't do that. So, you on the other hand, they could be a problem. Reconcile Japan. Hmm. So, this is what we're afraid of, Kate. Like, we could just end the series here. You know, we finished the Second World War. But, we don't know if the Soviet Union is actually going to just go to war straight away or whether we're going to end up in a Cold War situation. Uh, might as well fill this out. I'll take a uh, decisive battle. Sure, why not? Political advisor. Daily democracy, res res uh, daily democracy support or smooth talking charmer. Um, take smooth talking charmer since we're like 100% democratic anyway. So how you doing? Still minus 20. Hmm. Okay. Do we still have this war goal against Sweden? Well, does United Kingdom? Yes. Puppet focus. Hmm. Okay. I can't believe we've still got this area down here. Uh, I went a little bit crazy with grabbing terrain. That said, um, you know, 
we need it because if we played properly, like democratic allies type thing, we wouldn't have grabbed all this. But the downside is, if we'd have just gone, look, we'll grab Schwedelholstein because that's, you know, historically could be considered to be Denmark. If we'd just done that, we still wouldn't have had enough forces to actually be a world power. The only way we have forces to be a world power is because we stole a lot of Germany and used that to equip our forces. It was a cunning plan, but one that was really born out of desperation. Add you to that force. And you. And you. Right. How are we doing over here? Okay, we're up to three. Four. Alright, this might take a little while. I'm not sure it's going to work. I need to go to use your port. I can't believe they'd actually preferred me to just have 40 troops sitting behind their lines. That seems a little bit excessive. Support battalions are maxed out of them. Radio. Tanks, we got the highest level. Pretty much good. Uh, we'll upgrade our destroyers because it takes like less than a month. It's hard to think of uh, like any government agency capable of making a new class of submarine in less than a month though, but sure. I'll just get rid of these. Okay. I'm aware we've exiled divisions. Don't worry. Are we currently stockpiling? Modern tank and modern tank destroyer. Ah, yes. We need to replace our tank divisions with those. How much do we have of modern tank and modern tank destroyer? Um, not terrible. 1.3k. Yeah, let's try and flip them over. Okay, so tank division. Oh god, no, not train. Edit. Italian. Modern tank destroyer. Um, uh, modern tank. Modern tank. Modern tank. We'll look at that soft attack. Hard attack. Still not above 200, which is what I was hoping for. The breakthrough is significantly up. Armor significantly up. Piercing significantly up. And needs 150 modern... Yeah, we can do this. Uh, right. Do we need the mechanized infantry? So if we remove the mechanized infantry, HP drops to 12. Eek. Pause. Maybe... We should make it like a 20 width. A much bigger unit. No, not that one. Modern tank. And you're meant to be modern tank destroyer. There we go. Modern tank. 14. That hard tech's pretty good. Piercing's pretty good. And then we add... I don't know if we have enough, like, stuff for this. Mechanized. Mechanized. And then a third mechanized? I can't afford a third mechanized. I need one more point. Of experience. Okay, but we're, we're close. And the point being, this would be a very powerful unit with a max speed of 11.1 .1 kilometers per hour, HP of 100, so it could get attacked. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove that for the moment, save, and we'll add that on later to make it a nice 20 width. What do you need? You need modern tank. Oh, no, you got it. Yeah. I'm surprised we have that much equipment. Check our modern tank stockpile. Oh, no, actually, we need a lot more. We need 2.6k more modern tank. It happens. We produce 4.3 per day. 
Um, what's this? Balance. Stored. The shortage will last for... Wow. It's going to last for almost two years. Yeah, we need to work on that one. Okay, production. We're going to need more modern tanks. We also need to switch up more mechanized. Have I already got three mechanized being produced? Yeah, I do. Wow, okay. Um, we're going to need experience for that. Sadly. Uh, make you a... Modern tank. Mark one. Put you to the top. Modern tank destroyer. Modern tank mark one. Modern tank mark one. Yeah, sweet, okay. What do you want to research? Radio two? Gotcha. I need more army experience. Need to get my infantry with uh, more mechanized as well. Right, how are we doing over here? Completely out of organization. Just plus five? Dear God. I might have to just go to war to leave the country. That would be a mess, wouldn't it? Okay, destroy three. Let's grab destroy four, which takes 30 days. Oh, thank you, Switzerland. I forgot about those. I mean, a lot of these aren't quality uh, regiments like mine, you know. But they'll do. A lot of repairs to be done, but other than that, we're doing okay. So let's get some more nuclear factories around. Why not? Did I build the nuclear factories here, or did someone else build them? I don't remember putting nuclear factories here. Hmm, worrying. And, yeah, okay, let's just port two. Construction, and we'll just construct a load of military factories. And where else needs them? Because we we'll need those to actually build the uh, tanks. So I'll put them at the top. What do we need? Insufficient uh, steel. Okay. Ah, yes, you ran out, didn't you? Hi, United States. Are we actually going to ever go to war against Sweden? I don't know if we are. I don't think Britain actually has any troops up here. I think they've just subtly left it. I'll leave my troops there for the moment, but it's a case of, yeah, we're probably going to have to just ignore them for the future. I mean, the thing is, we might have to declare against the Soviet Union ourselves. Because, you know, they might come back to us later, and we, we can't allow that. Just let me out of China. Seriously, just let me out of China. Do I need to justify a war goal on the basis of, I'm stuck in your country? You know what? Let's stage a coup. And we'll stage the coup up here. And we'll get them to like us. It'll take like ages to happen. But if it's successful, they'll they'll be like, oh, we like you. We can escape via the port. Hey, whoa, there's no port here. Okay, where, where is there a port? Seriously? There's no ports in the Chinese section. Am I just imagining this? That is a port. That is a naval base. No, that's not even 
Ah! We can't actually leave through their territory at all. Because that doesn't have a port any... Uh, you know what? Cancel staging coup. Uh... Japan. Improve relations. There we go. Hi. I need to get into your country to leave. You're still wandering around over there. What do I need light tanks for? Like, seriously, who the hell is using light tanks? Is it you, motorized division? No. Who the hell is using light tanks? Have I got armor divisions still wandering around? I shouldn't do. A quick check. I can't see any armor divisions. I don't think I've ever made any. No? I have no idea why they want light like, tanks. It's not my uh not my area of expertise. I'm not building carriers because they need planes that aren't jets, because you can't use jets off of carriers for some reason. <sighs> okay, let's move back from up here. What I wouldn't pay to just be able to get my troops out right now. Close their support. And we're going to get close to support three. And then we're going to start building that for our battle lines. Hello there, Ireland. You're doing pretty well. It's not a bad army. I mean, it's not mine. Then again, I do control most of Europe. Oh, look at this. That looks like they're lined up for push. Worst case scenario, right? Istanbul. Why are you not... Why have we not got defenses in Istanbul? I was about to say, like, worst case scenario, we'll hold them in Istanbul with our amazing forts. We don't have any forts there. Why not? Dunno. Why haven't you got seven factories? I've got loads using trade and loads using consumer. I've got so few factories because I'm trading so... Oh, God damn it. Um, ah. Well, this could be a problem. Is there any resource that we don't need anymore? Because we've got enough of it? Chromium. That frees up a little bit. Other than that, no. Oh dear. We've got 14 factories. Hmm. We'll finish off the, the military factories we're working on. And we'll defend this stumble over here. Yeah, they're moving a lot of forces around down here. Oh, I forgot I had Iraq and Iran. Well, mostly Iran. That's a bit of a mess. People state. The Iraqi people state. Wow. Okay. I haven't seen that one before. Uh, yeah, I could do with these forces. Should we guarantee your independence? There we go. You like us a lot more now. Can, can we have military access? Nope. Britain has the same issue. God damn it. I should have just taken over Japan. No. I had to be magnanimous. 
let someone else have it. They're already democratic, so there's no need to coup them. I was tempted to coup them to fascists so that they could attack them. <laughs> but I'm a terrible, terrible person. Uh, right. Got two subs down here. Sure. Maybe we get the rest of our subs back. Can I, like, select all? Yes. Okay, that's helpful. What do we need? More steel. Yeah. Of course we do. Annoying. I kind of need those factories. Sadly, the problem is the consumer goods. If you weren't a problem, consumer goods. These are nearly fixed, so I might as well just work on these. One left, okay. Right, I'm gonna put you separately into a different unit so that I can deploy you later. Just gonna hope that they like us enough eventually to allow us military access. Mine's 12 at the moment. Um, right. We're going to need to have some divisions set out. Also, you're going to need to train because a lot of these... Look, look at them. They're green. Ugh. All right, get training. Also generate a little bit of experience that we need. Every 20 days, we'll have one experience. Yay. Meanwhile, Japan. No way near enough. I think the problem is we get plus one for every ten up here. So we need quite a lot. Yes, I know I generated war tension. It's not my fault. I declare war on Germany because they're declaring war on all my friends. Yes, I could have just joined the war. Uh-oh. United Kingdom is justifying against us. Wait, what? United Kingdom is justifying its us. Wait, what? Whoa! How are you justifying its us? Because we created world tension. That's on. We're in the Allies! Oh my god, if we have to attack the United Kingdom? They can't because they're in the Allies, right? They'd, they'd have to kick us out. You can't kick someone out, they have to leave. They can't go to war with us without leaving the Allies. And if they leave the Allies, we'll be the Allies. So we should be good, right? I think we're fine. Well, that's unfair. I won the war. Look at this. Look at this. Maybe that's why you don't like me. That would make sense. Quite frankly, I don't like me either. So, you know, it's fair. Um, that's just going to come to nothing. This would be really annoying. It's certainly a blow for relations, but... And... There we go, plus 10. Yeah, this is never going to happen. That's frustrating. Do I just, like, get rid of my units? Mostly infantry. A few tanks over there, though. Will I get the equipment back? That's my question. Units will go back to the manpower pool. Use equipment to move to storage. Yes, I will. Okay, so we can basically retrain them. It'd be annoying. We lose a lot of the foreign legions that have been sent to us. Okay, well, we'll reserve that for, like, worst case scenario. Work on Radio 3. That's worst case scenario. Yeah, tanks are up to regular. Okay, you know, we'll call that good enough. And we'll have to start positioning them. So we'll want...
quarter of the force over here. And it's going to be a complete and utter royal mess. Right, front line there. You're guarding that, so we'll just reduce the front line for now. And then your offensive orders when the war begins will be to basically move up there, use that river as a bit of defense, and grab this port and that port. This is the more fun part. So we're going to need to have one, two, Eleven? Yeah, eleven's probably enough. Move them into a separate one, and then front line around there. So that their job is basically to crush that. Oh, wrong one. Wait, offensive line? There we go. And then if we select half of them... And they'll be aggressive, super aggressive. Should probably make like a new theater as well. New theater. There we go. And that'll be uh, Turkey. Uh, call it the Middle East. No, Turkey. There we go. Because we're gonna have to defend Iraq as well. Because I'm really clever like that. All right, half of that. New theater. Front line. There we go. Now the big idea for this will be if we can like connect up around here. That would severely help the war effort. So like up there. Not like that. And then from there, we'd want to offensive line push up to here. No, that has to follow on. There we go. Yeah, look at how it's thinking about that. It's like, yeah, you're not going to win that one. I'm like, mm, yeah, that would be a problem. Get down there, see how you feel when you're down there. Oh, 37, 37. Not that the second 37 matters. Uh, front line. Yeah, I know. It'll get rid of my orders. Um, there. Which is terrible, because it's just against the one country. Okay, uh, let's use a... Fallback line? Alright. Try and use a fallback line. It's going to be a bit messy. Austria is a threat, isn't it? I think Yugoslav is fine. And I'll add a front line there. Are you a threat? Allies, no, okay, you're okay. You are a threat. So we need a dedicated one for us, um, Austria. Really? We'll put them on the fallback line for now, but the idea will be that we can switch to this and then we can offensive line, Warsaw. We can't go into another country for now because this is a setup for one. Puts them onto the front. Or I want them on the fallback line, so they're covering the entire distance. And you're still allies, right? Whoa, wait, no. There's like super fascist? Whoa, I thought you were allies, man. When did this happen? Let's boost democracy over there because I've got nothing else to do with my political power. I've got a lot of political power, let's just say that. Day bombing, uh, fighter escorts, escort efficiency. 
Lovely. Right, our forces are getting to there. Oh, it's thinking about it. It's thinking about it. Oh, that was a lot of thinking for Christmas Day, but nothing happened. Hmm. I sense a trap. Okay, forces are in position. Does the United Kingdom have, like, a justification on me now? No. It's got a justification against Germany. Hmm. Odd. Uh, right. Forces are very thin, but we are there. Can't justify against Austria. Yeah, we're going to have to justify against the Soviet Union if they don't justify against us. Because, well, you know, we could just end the series here and consider it, you know, a victory. I think it would be more interesting if we could just continue on to see how we uh, happen to do. I have a fear that the Soviets might be uh, in a decent position. But yeah, they aren't even scraping the barrel. And they still got their total war economy on. And we don't even have that many nukes, which is what we would like. I hope we've got enough uh, planes stockpiled for the coming war. We could go down temporarily from all out at serve, which would give us more um, speed of our factories. Oh, I can't go down to what I want to go down to. I can only go down to limited conscription because democracy. I'd want to go down to effectively... Oh, we're not even on scraping the barrel. Like, we could go scraping the barrel against the Soviet Union because estimated army strength 100% or more, which would give us 20... That would give us another 5%. It would ruin our factory and our training time, but we could do it. Oh, my God. It's taking so long to construct anything. We haven't even constructed the Istanbul defenses yet. We need those. I'm sorry, but they have to be done. This is our fallback line for Turkey, which I fear we might end up using. I don't think we can hold all this. Look at the amount of forces they have here. Right, something joined Comintern. It certainly feels like an arms race is going on, so we'll have to see how it uh, pans out. But for now, I've been Andrew Elysium. Uh, if you've enjoyed, please remember to like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It'd be great if we could get you to be democratic. There we go. Let's boost democracy. But until next time, just remember to stay shiny.